Hello everyone and welcome back to Amps with me and Joe. We're here. Yes. Hello everyone. And today uh, hey, I'm going to show you. a bit of farming. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do some bit of farming. Um, first of all, Joe, you can see here we've got this little setup. Look, we've got oh, some yeah, cool this stuff. Setup. We've got our soul sand and our brewing sand and some nether wart that we're just just cooking up here. Setup. Is this the room I made? Or? Uh, no, the room you made is back here, Joe, which is now expanded a huge wow. amount. Um, it's big now. Big room. Jesus. So yeah, we just made it uh, a bit bigger. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. So yeah, basically back here, Joe. Um, we can see we got yes. this rancher here, which we're gonna have to sort of Beautiful, nice. Sort, sort of gonna have to dig out a bit. Uh, um. Well, of course we had the rancher. That last rancher's time. actually bloody helpful. So we're gonna need to come back here and do exactly what we did before, which is put a chest back here. So that's basically the reason why this doesn't seem to be working. I think. There's not a chest back here, and there's sheep trying to come in again. Go away, sheep. You're not worthy. You shall not pass. There we are. So why isn't this getting any energy? Did we not finish the uh, path or something? Does energy need to go into a specific place? Go away. Doesn't seem to be getting any energy. I don't know why. We'll have to look at that. Okay, let's close this all up. And we could, I guess, start um, follow the pathway. Just make sure none of the sheep escape, Joe. Um, no, I don't need do See, this is not getting any energy either. Where's all the energy gone? I don't know. I was wondering. Here. Why has this been disconnected? That's really weird. Can you go upstairs now, Joe, check if it's working? Alright. Sorry, I need to get that. That was really weird. I didn't know why that was gone. Let's get up here. Yeah. It might be because we backed up the server or something, and it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me just see if it's working. Yeah, it is. It's working now. Yeah. It is working. Yeah, it's, it's right now. Okay, that's good. What about the sheep thing? Sheep thing. Let me have a look at that. Uh, yes, they're all. They're all sheared. They're all sheared. Oh, that is awesome. That's pretty sick. I like that. That's good. That's really helpful. So we get automatic sheep now. That's pretty cool. Um, if we have carrots, you might be able to make a feed station, Joe. Do you remember that? Yes, that's a good idea. Because the feed station is really helpful. Okay, I'll make the feed station then. Instead of like just manually doing it. I, I've got carrots here. Oh, I don't think we have feed stations because we don't have railcraft in this show. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, because I did ask earlier in the series. Ah! A creeper! Ah! Oh my god. Oh, phew, at least, um, oh, I didn't realise that, um. <sighs> Bloody There's hell. A There's a creeper? <sighs> Gotta have a heart attack then, bloody hell. There must be a place where they can spawn then. Let's uh, press F7 and have a look around. There must be like. Oh my god. Oh, I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> bloody hell. <sighs> that was really scary. I just turned around and it was like creeper face. Jesus Christ. At least ex explode of the uh, thing that, you know, what is it off? What's, what do you put off? Um, griefing's gone off because we're yeah. a Mac, we're a Max were complaining about it for some reason. Yeah, they, apparently they had a creeper massacre or something, they told me. That yeah. something went very wrong in Pernus. Um, anyway. I bet Pernus wasn't even that good. I don't even know where it is. Um, so basically, yeah, that's good. We've got the farms all set up now, Joe. It's beautiful. It's mm. really nice. I don't think we really need to automate the melons. That's kind of a bit pointless to do that. But at least this is all automated. I like the fact that we've got this sheep completely automatic now. Automatic wool is always good. Um, quite a difficult thing to do normally, automatic wool. But now that we've got that, you can see the wool total is climbing there, as well as pretty much everything else. We've got to the 10,000 mark for both tin and copper as well, Joe. <coughs> yeah, that's cool. And our singularity is still not say very that, close. Say that number again. 10,000? Bloody hell, that's Yeah, 10,000 in. Wow. That's pretty good. It's not pretty bad, good. Not bad, actually. So, Joe, I was thinking, uh, while we are basically short of materials for the antimatter facility, why don't we start, like, a little bit of a space station going on? All right, let's do that. That's quite, that's quite cool, because we um, need to get Weber and Max, because we want to destroy them, basically. We? So, I want to destroy Pernus. The best way to get a space station going is to actually start by um, starting up a program to go to the moon. Yes, okay. So, if you type in rocket right. into your things there, or actually, no, at Galacticraft is probably better. 
like at Galacticraft, and um, you can see there's a whole load of stuff here that we need, and there's quite a lot of different ores uh, here that are a bit weird, but we're going to need all of these different machines here. Um, oh God, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, I love the flags, actually, Tommy. Those are quite sick. They've got your, uh, they've got your skin face on them. Okay, do you want to make the flags, then? No, I'll get that. Okay, you make the flags, I'll make all of the oxygen oh, supplies the and the rocket. So we're going to need a NASA workbench for this, and the NASA workbench is um, quite a few things. Uh, so, what do we need? We're going to need a advanced circuit. Okay, let's see. NASA workbench, steel plates, we're going to need four of. And then we're going to need the NASA workbench. There we go. Joe, NASA workbench. Oh, yeah. Where should we stick this thing? Let's... Uh... Shall we? Because this is a NASA thing. Let's stick it right in the middle of this room, just because it, it makes it feel. Really... Why don't we? Why don't we make this half the antimatter facility? Okay. And this half not the antimatter facility. Let's put it like in the middle of nowhere, so it's kind of. Like... What about here in the corner here? Well, it's it's NASA. You want to have it like you want to have loads of. You want to make it look like you have like loads and loads of room. Don't you? Well, we'll we'll keep it there for now. All right, we'll keep it there for now. Have it your way. So yeah, um, we've got that now, Joe. So we're going to need to get all the materials we need for a rocket then. Uh, so we make two rockets, I guess. Two rockets. Yes, two rockets. So we're going to need to get a lot of stuff. We're going to need... Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 heavy duty plating. 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, 15, and then how much are we going to need for these? We're going to need... 16, so 31. So then we're going to need 62 heavy duty plating. 62 heavy duty plating. Um, is there a way to make it from wool? There might be. I'm not sure though. Okay, we're making heavy duty plating, Joe. Look at this. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Uh, could you make, Joe, could you make the oxygen mask? Two oxygen masks. Um, oxygen mask. Oh, we're gonna need the red wool, of course. A lot of crafting going on. Okay, there we go. I've got that many tin cans now. So I've got eight tin cans. Uh, sorry, eight uh, heavy oxygen ma uh, tanks. Pretty cool. Um, so now I'm gonna make the rocket launch pad. It's going to require blocks of iron. I love moon oxygen. It would be tasty, Mon. Very tasty. Oh, I'm going to make an iron. How about that? Um, I to get away with an enchanted one. No way. So we're going to need six of those, and we're going to need six iron blocks. Bloody hell. Um... 18 rocket launch pads. Okay, let's get back to the heavy duty plating. Uh, so what we're going to need for a rocket, we're going to need um, a nose cone, which just requires a redstone torch and a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm just waiting for Joe to craft these things up. Um, remember, you, remember you need two, Joe. Oh yeah, good point. God's sake, I keep giving him the wrong terminal. There we go, two tier one rocket engines. There we are. And uh, Joe, you're going to need to now make a buildcraft pump. Okay. So look up how to make a pump. Oh, uh, pump. There we go. Tank. That's not. That's not really easy to make. Uh, and a mining well. That's pretty easy to make. Okay. So once Joe's made the tank. And I have made some other stuff. Uh, I'm going to need to make some ender tanks. Uh, so I'm going to need to go and get some some ender, ender stuff. Ender tanks, not too bad. Cauldron, all this stuff. So once I've made two ender tanks, and Joe's made the pump, and we've made so some... I just need one pump, right? Yeah, just one pump, and we've made some tanks and stuff. We'll be right back to, uh, to show you guys what to do next. Right, Joe, uh, I've also got your oxygen gear here. Look at that. Oh, well, yeah. You can put these on now, look, if you put them on your... your... Nice. I'm going to take off all my armor. Look at that. You don't even have to take off your armor, look, you just put it no, in there. No, I won't look at those. Okay, so there we go, we got that. Um, so basically what I'm going to do now... It's invisible. Is I'm going... We're going to go and set up the pump, Joe. Nice. 
Um, if you it's pass only, me, it's only a two piece. Up. If you pass me the pump. Okay, so let's go up and use a lovely cobblestone platform. That's really, really. Um. Oh, jeez, I just fell off. Just fell off the platform, Joe. Oh my god. Um. So I just put that there. We don't really have much steel left, sorry. Three? No. Um, you can craft up steel. You can just press craft. Okay. And then you can choose how much you want to craft. We've automatically made steel now. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I've got a pump here, Joe, and we're going to put an ender tank down. Uh, like that. Um, we might want to get some dyes, because we just will want to. We didn't want to do that, because that could have been quite bad. Um, right, guys, so here I am, just uh, dyeing the ender tanks. I'm going to make them black, red, black, I think. Um, that will certainly uh, secure... Oh, and tanks. Can you put a diamond on it, maybe? That will make it even more secure. Um, maybe you can put a diamond on these? Aha, yes, you can. There we go. So now these are only mine. These are my under tanks, which is awesome. So there we go. My under tanks, owner, turbo diesel 4598. Let's go. Plop down this awesome thing. Let's go this way, outside. Towards our epic oil thing up here. Looks like it's already started mining out a little bit of oil, which is good. Okay, so all we have to do, hopefully, is just put the ender tank up there. And there you go, you can see there's oil starting to build up, so that's awesome. We've actually got oil. We're getting oil, Joe. Isn't that amazing? It's, it's, it's a beautiful sight. It is, certainly is. So, let's go back home, how? Yeah. Don't know why I'm not using my handheld linking book, but oh well, I'm here now. Right, so now we want to. Where do we want to have the rockets? Where do we want to have the rockets, Joe? Do we actually want to have the rockets? Um, will they work if. I don't think they'll work if we have them in a mist age. Um, so, uh, should we just have the rocket pads just here? Might as well. Okay, I've got a golden bag of holding now with all my rocket, rocket stuff. So let's put these down. Um, let's say we have one rocket goes, say here. Let's have another rocket here. There we go, look at that. Awesome. Okay, that looks cool now. So we've got an actual rocket platform. Very nice. So now what we need to do is we need to get the rockets and to do that we're going to need to go and get all the stuff that we made earlier but first of all I'm going to put down these tanks um, right next to um, here so let's get our uh, well hang on let's have to move these torches never mind um, let's put this here put our ender tank there and then all we have to do is just right click that and that should empty out into the tank there we go look at that we're getting oil in that tank and have you got that universal cable, Joe? Yes, I have. Right here. I give it to you now. Thank you very much. I thank you with all my heart. Okay. So, here, we're going to need another redstone engine. Plop it down here. There we are. Okay, cool, that's working. And then we're going to need to have some fueling stations. Um, I don't know how the rocket works yet, so we'll, we'll not build that just yet. Um, okay, so using that universal cable, I need to tap into the energy system, wherever that is. Where is it going across here, actually? No, where is the, where is the nearest energy system? Okay, uh, I'm going to go and hook up some power up to this refinery. And then I'll be right back. Right guys, here I go. Just finishing off this cable system all the way down here. Wrapping it round. 
Oh god, I got stuck. Okay, right, so the refinery is just up there, so now if we hook that up, we should start to see... Is it working, Joe? Is it running? Yeah, let me see. Yes, I think it is. Yeah, it is. It is. Nice. I think it is. Yeah, of course it is. Look at that. Oil. Beautiful wheel. Turning into fuel. So we've got fuel. Uh, that is good. Um, so now, Joe, I think it's time to go and plop down those rockets. <gasps> oh my god, I've been waiting like whole series for this bit. Have you? Yeah, the rockets. Of course I have. I want to, I just can't wait to just destroy Weber and Max and destroy Pernus. Okay. How the hell, how the hell are we actually going to find their base though? That's the problem. Um, I don't know. Uh, okay. Right. That stuff, that stuff, that stuff. There we go. Right, let's go and craft up our, our awesome stuff, Joe. Let's get some chests, actually. Um, I need to... Oh. Six chests. There we are. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Let's craft up with our epic NASA workbench. Here we go. Do you need some? Do you need some of the tools I've made? It's yeah. fine. There we are, Joe. You take out your rocket then. Take out yours. Okay, take it out. Oh, I can't get in it. Bloody hell! Don't don't use the brick. Just use a piece. Oh, I can't, apparently you can't see it. Okay, there's there's yours, Joe. Okay, thank you. Throw it on the ground. Oh yeah, this is yours. Oh. Whoa, spaceship. Yeah, Joe, look, I'm holding it in the air. Yeah, from my point of view, it, it kind of looks... Because I'm on default. But... Uh, <laughs> we got our rockets, Joe. Plop yours down. Sure thing. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah, be careful. Don't actually do anything yet. Yeah. That's... Okay, now if you press F, you'll go into the inventory for fuel. You'll see we have no fuel. So, oh. what, so what we need to do, and how do you get out? I think you just shift, shift, right click. Yeah, shift, right click, to get out. Okay. And we also, of course, going to need to get um, the, uh, the the floor. We're going to, of course, need to um, get rid of the uh, stuff up here. So we're going to use redstone in motion for that, like a frame door. That'd be really cool. They'll open up. That's quite cool. So, yeah. you know, that'd be awesome. I'm inside the rocket. So there's our rockets. On first person view. Okay. Hello. This is awesome. So now we're gonna need some fueling stations. Fueling stations. Stations. Maybe if Weber and Max find us, we could just like shift. Can you? No, you can't shift in here. That's the. Can you see my name tag from the rocket? Because that'd be a pretty good hiding place. Wouldn't it? Hang on, wait there, Joe. I need a fuel loader apparently. Okay, fuel loader. I don't have any of the stuff for a fuel loader, so I'm gonna need some steel. Let's just craft up a bunch of that. And I'm going to need for a fuel loader also a motor, which is going to also require some steel. And I'm also going to need a control circuit, which is not too bad. Okay, so fuel loader, motor. Okay, there's the motor and fuel loader. We're almost there. How much steel have we got? Just waiting on a bit of steel, that's all. Once we've got the steel, we'll be ready to go. One more steel. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Fuel loader. Okay, so we've got one fuel loader. We'll just use, I guess, um, another one in a minute. We'll just wait on that. So let's fuel up um, yours first, Joe. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. So, we'd, I thought we'd need to bring these outside. Because... Because what? We'll fill the ceiling. Or do they not? All this, like, thing, like a Minecraft logic, where they just go right through it. Um, no fuel to load. Okay, we need to load up some fuel, Joe. Okay. So let's actually move the fuel load over here, because that'll give us a little bit more space. So I'm not sure which way round this needs to go, so I'm just going to place it like this for now. Yeah, look how uh, much fuel we've got. That's going good. Okay, I think that should be right. So let's get some pipage. Watch out, Joe. Joe? Joe? Yeah. Into there. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that. There we go. Fuel's going in. So, filling so, up. So Where are we going to use them? So we need some power now, so we'll need to go underneath here. Put that power across. Using these cables. OK, 
Okay, so obviously power. Where does power go into this machine? Yeah, no. Into like the top or something? Where the hell does power go? Doesn't seem to want to go anywhere. Not enough power. Where does power go? Does it need that? Oh, does it need a special type of cable? Oh, I hope it doesn't. Ah, oh, okay, Joe. I think I know what we're going to have to do here. Um, I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to go over here and charge up some energy cubes. Okay. So let's just... Actually, no. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we'll do. I think I found another way as well, Joe. Um, I made some copper wire, but I didn't actually need it in the end. Uh, I think what we're going to have to do is... Uh, let me just get my wrench out and get this one going as well. Okay, let's get some uh, waterproof piping across to here. Watch out, Joe. Can you stop bouncing around? Okay. We just have to let all the fuel... Why is that stopped down there? There's a lot piping going on. Apparently this lever got knocked off. I'm not sure how that happened. Okay, right. So fuel. Got uh, a load of fuel coming online. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Basically, what I'm going to do now. Now we've got a bit of fuel in there. Got a load of fuel? No, we don't. Have. <laughs> what we should be able to do now is hook up a little bit of power. Yeah, here we go. Down here. Finally. Like that. And that's not giving us any power. Okay. So for some reason that's not working. Okay, well I guess, Joe, the only way we're going to be able to do this is by just um, using energy cubes. Okay. So I'm going to go and fill up some energy cubes. Right. Um, energy cube in there. Energy cube in here. Okay, press your load fuel button now, Joe, see if that works. Okay. It looks like it's working. I think it's working. Active stages active. And it is slowly. Slowly but surely. Doing its thing. I think it is. I think it's doing it. Look at that. Mine's gone down. What has? My fuel thing. Yeah, that's because you're loading it into the machine, into the into the um rocket. Yours isn't there, I think. Yeah, it's because I don't know. It it is. It is now. Just because I had a lot of excess fuel, that's all. Okay, if you go into your rocket now, we press F. You should see there's a bit of fuel now. Now, definitely don't press space to launch. Uh, oh, what's that to? Get out, get out straight away now um, by holding shift right and then shift right click. Okay, so now our rockets are ready to go up in space. The only problem is that there is no space to launch up into because it's, well, slightly closed right now. So, I'm Close. thinking. I'm thinking that um, eventually we'll get like a nice frame system, but for now, we'll just go up there. Um, could you like stand like here, Joe? Could you like stand like here, and I'll go upstairs and find out where we need to destroy the ground. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go upstairs. This is awesome, Joe. I think. Let me get my. There's a couple With of things. Maximum weather suspect the massive hole in the ground leading to some rockets. And it well, no, I think that's why we need the frame thing that we'll get later. But for now, we yeah. don't. We don't have that. Okay. Um. We could get some camouflage. That would be nice, actually, to cover up the the uh, the trap door to our thing. That would be quite nice. Another one's here. We need to cut down. We need to cut down all these leaves as well. Get in the way. Apparently, I've got the achievement getting wood. Okay. It's a good achieve to get early on. Really got to make sure that no no stuff is in the way here, because that really would not be good. We don't want to crash like instantly right next to. No, no, that would not be good. Okay, so is that right? Yeah, that's about right to me. There we are. And then here. 
Oh, Jacob's close. What? Don't make me fall down. 